welcome again sa ating Sunday School for today. So before we start, let us pray. So Lord Jesus, we thank you for this day. Thank you sa goodness mo sa amin. Thank you for always guiding us and giving us joy, Lord, at sa lahat ng ginagawa namin. Lord, we bless you, we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. So ayan, kids, welcome ulit sa ating Sunday School today. So, sa mga hindi pa po dyan, nakakapag-subscribe, i-click mo na yung subscribe button and like mo na rin yung ating YouTube channel para ma-notify kay lagi sa ating Sunday School. At sa mga hindi pa po nakaka-join sa ating page, sa Facebook page, join na rin kayo at ikwento mo na rin pa paano mo nalaman yung Crayon page. So, samahan nyo kami, samahan natin sa ating desire, sa ating worship, si Ate Salve sa ating words, sa ating mitsi, sa ating message. Memory verse, si Ate Jo sa ating arts and craft. At wag mong kakalimutan kids, kapag nakagawa ka na o natapos mo na yung memory verse, tsaka yung arts and craft mo, pwede mo siya i-share sa ating Facebook page. So ano pa inantay mo? Invite mo ni mga friends mo, kapatid mo, kasi sino mga kasama mo sa bahay mo at mag-worship tayo together kasama si Ate Desiree. Hello kids! I'm your Ate Desiree and it's worship time! Ano pang hinihintay mo? Tumayo ka na dyan dahil sasayaw tayo!
sila ay lumilipad against sa current. So, kung, kung malakas yung hangin, kaya nilang um, sabayan o kailangan, kaya nilang suburin. So, at alam mo din ba na yung agila ay uh, they are um, putting their baby on their top there. Dito nila nilagay para um, mas safe and protected yung baby nila. So, alam mo din ba na ganun din si God sa atin? At alam mo din ba na sa kwento natin, malalaman din natin doon kung paano sila prinotect at dinala sila ng eagle wings palapit sa kay God. Tara na, alamin natin ang kwento ng ni Moses at ng mga Israelites sa kanilang paglakbay patungo sa Mount Sinai. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for the great day. Thank you, Father, na ikaw yung manguna sa amin. Let your word be revealed to us we, as we prepare our hearts to you, our lives to you. Let your love and joy eh, na maranasan namin, Lord God. Salamat sa mga bata na patuloy mo, Lord God. Um, tinatouch yung mga heart nila, Lord God. Let the kids Reveal, Lord God, yung love mo din sa kanila, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Then, noong three months after nilang makalabas sa Egypt, sila ay uh, nag-camp sa lugar ng Mount Sinai. Ng Mount Sinai. So, dito sila nag-camp. Ito yung Mount Sinai at ito yung kanyang um, de, uh, desyerto. And so, si Moses ay umakit siya sa, um, sa Mount Sinai. Dito, umakit siya dito. Para kausapin si God. And God spoke to him. Nag- na nagsalita ang Diyos sa kanya. And sabi ng Diyos, ay, uh, God said to Moses, If you obey me, you will be my treasured possession, a holy nation. So, yun yung sinabi ni God sa kanya para sabihin niya din sa mga tao. So, Moses went back, bumaba siya sa, sa bundok, para ipagsabi na sa mga tao kung ano yung sinabi na God sa kanila. So, sinausap niya yung mga elders ng, um, ng, ng mga Israelites para ito din ay kanilang maipasa sa mga sa iba, sa iba mapasa nila sa iba. And sila ay uh, nag-agree that God uh, will make, uh, will sila din ay nag-agree na sumunod sa Diyos at 
maging treasured possession and sila ay magiging holy nation. And sagot nila, we will do everything what the Lord has said. Ikaw nga bata, sabihin mo nga, I will do everything what the Lord has said. Yay! So Moses went back again to the mountain and the people would obey him. Sabi, sabi ni God sa kanya, I'm going to come with you and speak with you and will all and they will put their trust with you. Kasi God is always with Moses. So lagi siyang ginagabayan ng God. Go down and warn the people that they do not force their way through to see the Lord and many of them will perish. So they must consecrate themselves or they must consecrate themselves or the, the Lord will break out against them. So after that, the Moses said to the Lord, the people cannot come up Mount Sinai because yourself warned us. Put limits around the Mount Sinai and set it apart, set it apart as a holy. So the Lord replied, go down and bring Aaron up. But the priests of the people must not force their way through come to up and the Lord he will break out against them. So Moses went down to the people and told them. So because God is holy, you must have or you must be consecrated or cleansed. So kailangan nilang maghanda because in that day that God will spoke to them. And we know that God reveals his words sa mga tao, sa kay Moses, and sa mga nangyayari. And this is the thick cloud, the smoke, the light thing, and the thunder. So, and then the mountain began to shake, and the trumpet blast got louder and louder. So was the Lord was on the top of the mountain and told Moses to come on the mountain with Aaron. So because it is because God is holy na walang mga tao na pwedeng lumapit sa kanya unless you are holy. Pero alam naman natin that Jesus um, died sa cross para tayo ay mabayaran yung kasalanan natin. But by the blood of Jesus, we have now a connection with God. We love God and we obey God's word. So, sa kwento natin, makikita natin doon na kung saan tinulungan ni Moses yung mga tao sa pamamagitan ng pagkausap sa Diyos. Bata, alam mo ba na ang pagkausap sa Diyos ay hindi mo pa kailangan pumunta ng Mount Sinai. Hindi mo pa pumunta, hindi mo pa kailangan pumunta sa church. Ang pagkausap sa Diyos ay nasa puso at nasa maintim na pananangin. Mga bata, kung ikaw man ay hindi pa nagkakaroon ng uh, komunikasyon sa Diyos na kung saan kailangan mo um, mag-wash kagaya ng mga tao, they wash and cleanse their feet sa kanilang pag- Uh, the travel from uh, na makarating sa uh, Mount Sinai, ikaw din ay kailangan din natin na mag-cleanse sa ating mga sins through the blood of Jesus na makaya mo, makaya mo na bumalik at kausapin si Lord. Bata, kung ikaw yung bata na gustong gusto mo makausap si Lord pero hindi mo magawa dahil ikaw ay puno pa ng putik or may may kasalanan ka pa na hindi mo na kayang bitawan let help na kaming mga teachers mo na matulungan ka para maggrow pa yung spiritual life mo we need god 
and we have to obey God. So, thank you kids. So, let's pray. Pag ikaw yung bata na gustong-gusto mo, na lagi mo kausap ang Diyos at gustong-gusto mo din ipamahagi ito sa iba, tulungan at sabayan natin yung mga bata na patuloy din silang uh, gabayan at kausapin nila ang Diyos sa kanilang pag pray and pag sasama sa atin sa Sunday School at pagbabasa ng Bible. Tara na, let's pray. Lord, thank you for the great day. Salamat sa patuloy na paggabay mo sa amin. Salamat, Lord, na hindi mo kami pinabayaan. Dinala mo kami, Lord God, kagaya ng Agila, Father, sa, sa presensya mo, na pinag, uh, pinag-protect mo kami. Uh, you, you make us strong, Lord. Salamat, Father. Thank you, Lord God. I-bless mo yung mga bata na kung saan hindi pa nila, Lord God, nalalaman, Lord God, yung salita mo. Help them, Lord God, na ma-open yung heart nila that they will know you more, Father. By Thank you, Father, for every teachers. Thank you, Father, for every parents. Bless their life, Lord God, sa mga banta na ito, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, kids. Ako to si Ate Mitzi at welcome sa Memory Verse. Ang Memory Verse natin ngayong linggo ay nasa 1 John 5 verse 3. Sabay-sabay natin basahin. This is love for God to obey His commands and His commands are not burdensome. 1 John 5 verse 3. Sige, um, tayo-tayong lahat tapos... <laughs> Tuturoan ko kayo ng mga movements natin. Sige, first natin movement, this is love. This is love, second, for God. This is love for God. This is love for God. Next, to obey, to obey. This is love for God, to obey. His commands. Commands. Okay. Try not eh? This is love for God to obey His commands. And His commands are not burdensome. His commands are not burdensome. Ganto kayo. Um, v. Tapos ganto hinyo. Tapos... Ting ting, okay. Ting ting. Burdensome. Not burdensome. Um, pag dugtong dugtong in natin. In three, two, one. This is love for God to obey His commands, and His commands are not burdensome. First John five verse. Three. Nakuha ba natin lahat? Okay, magaling, magaling. Ngayon, practicein pa natin ng isa pang beses ng kayo lang. Okay? In 3, 2, 1, go. This is love for God to obey His commands and His commands are not burdensome. 1 John 5 verse 3. Very good mga bata. Nakuha niyo na maayos ang ating memory verse. Palapakan tayo. Yeah! Ngayon, kuhain natin ang ating mga gamit, gamit for arts and craft. Uh, let's settle down. See you next week! Hello kids! It's now time for our crafts. Ako nga pala si Ate Jojo. Today, we will make a craft about our story. God speaks from Mount Sinai. Ang kailangan natin for our crafts are the following. Uh, we need glue, tape, uh, pang kulay. You can have markers or color. Or pwede rin naman maghanda ng brown colored paper and yellow colored paper. Kailangan din natin ng cotton balls, scissor, at ang pattern natin for our crafts. 
Kung hindi kayo makapag-print, pwede rin namang mag-drawing na lang ng katulad ng pattern natin. Kailangan din natin ng uh, white cardboard for our mountain. Okay. Kung meron na kayo ng mga gamit na to, let's start with our craft. So today, tinutulungan ako ni Caleb para sa ating craft. Tinukulayan na ni Caleb ang ating uh, pattern brown para sa mountain at yellow naman para sa lighting. Tapos magkulay ay pwede niyang kupitin ang pate ng pundok. When you ask, he cares. When you seek, he's there. When you knock, 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 knock. God opens up the door. When you ask, he cares. When you seek, he's there. When you knock, 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 knock. God opens up the door. Pwede na rin natin ang ikulat. Okay. Mahal na naman, i-glue ang hinupit na pattern sa cardboard. Pati ang lightning. Tapos ay gupitin ulit ito. Ilagay natin siya sa cardboard para maging matigas ang ating mountain. Naglagay ng konting allowance sa cardboard sa dulo ng kapilang side. Katapos ay, ibibigit natin ang side. Okay, so, pwede rin gumamit ng glue at or pwede rin gumamit ng glue. God opens up the door When you ask, He cares When you seek, He's there When you knock, 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 knock God opens Ayan. up the Ngayon, door Ngayon, kailangan natin ng cardboard ulit kung saan natin ilalagay ang ating mountain. Okay, para malagay natin ang mountain, gagamit tayo ng cake. God 
Tapos na naman yung linggo natin ng full of fun as I know na nag-enjoy kayo. So kapag nag-enjoy kayo, i-post nyo na yung memory verse nyo at yung dance nyo habang nag-worship kayo. By the way, ako po pala si Ate Debbie and thank you for joining our Sunday School today. So let's end this with prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you for the joy. Thank you sa fun mo, Lord God, as we learn your word. Thank you for always guiding us. And we praise you, we glorify you in Jesus' name. Amen. So thank you, kids, and patuloy kayo mag-subscribe at patuloy nyo kaming samahan hanggang sa mga susunod na God bless you all!